You know, guys, so like, truth, okay, it's only one of four, but it's the fourth quadrant, okay? In the clock, it goes 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. The truth, and then there's the bullshit. Where have I seen that before? Okay. You have the truth. Or the truth, you know, the one dimensional line here. That's not part of their V. So the three cells as a, as a circle, guys, not depicted clearly. And then you have... No. Need a dot. You're connecting a triangle... To a one-dimensional line via a dot. You have a dot, a line, and a V. Look, that's what's depicted here. You have your dot, I, and V, which are your starting of the Roman numerals. Your building blocks of everything in this third dimension. <gasps> that's what it is! The building blocks of everything in the third dimension are zeros and ones in unity between the male and female, the masculine and feminine. One-dimensional lines via created zeroth dimensional singularity which is depicting of that one zeroth dimensional singularity two one dimensional lines red backwards guys is 12 or two ones you know what i'm saying two ones guys or 12 complete you know the clock complete guys and in these quadrants you have one quarter is truth and three quarters are blue bullshit. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you have one, two, three. In reality, you really have one, two, three, four, five, six, six to two ratio. Okay? That's what you have. You have a six to two ratio. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are needed to create everything. So they're common to all, so they cancel. Okay, guys? These are needed for everything. Okay? You need the torus for everything. You need magnetism for everything here. So in reality, all you have is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And you have a dot, which is a line. A dot is a line. So you have a dot, dot to two. Okay, or a 3 to 1. And there's your 13, your 31, okay? Or your 313 over 2 pi is equal to R. Or your 13 over pi is equal to R. For this, the Vesca Pisces, for your free energy of your coil. Okay? Okay? That's what it is. That's what Fibonacci is depicting. And look, when we close in, when we become one, guys, and become this, look what happens. Look what remains, guys, when we become one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, Saturn, a ruler of time, Saturn, which is a zero and a one. One, two. Jupiter and the other galaxies in our universe. And look where we are on the cross, you know? We're all touching. Okay, look. This quadrant has no white space anymore, like the old depiction. They're all touching. They're all filled in, guys. We, are, we become one in the fourth D. Okay? We graphed out. We graphed out like this. Because the D would sit down and become a line in the next depiction. See? This D is now this line when it sits down and then there's your m your thousand guys your 4d guys 
And three creates four, which makes five guys, you know? We are in the 3D. Okay. We're going to go to the 4th D. We're ruled by the 4th D. Okay. However, 3 makes 4 makes 5. Okay. So we're going to be attracting another 3D ruled by its own time. Okay? And we're going to become one. Or... No, not properly depicted. Within the brackets. And if you mirror that, you get your, which is your 911. Your 911. And all that means, that symbol, is whatever sliver of the pie you are. And the glass half full versus the glass half empty. You're three to one. You're three to one ratio. Wherever I wrote that. It was somewhere. Anyways. Three to one ratio of Fibonacci, guys. Okay. 